Imagine someone sucking out everything from your body except your skin, what will remain behind. Your sluggish, lifeless skin drops onto the floor. Or imagine you're living in a cozy little house, perfectly balanced with the amount of furniture and belongings inside. Suddenly, the sprinklers burst upstairs, unleashing a torrent of water. What happens? Chaos, right? Your house shrinks, furniture floats, and you're probably ankle-deep in a soaking mess. That's kind of what happens to a cell when it gets dunked in a hypertonic solution. Some of you might be wondering, what is a hypertonic solution? So, for those curious heads, a hypertonic solution is a type of solution that has a higher concentration of solutes, dissolved particles, compared to another solution. In simpler terms, suppose you are a tiny flower. On one side of you is salt water, and the other side is plain, normal water. Here the salt water is a hypertonic solution. Another example of it is, imagine two bowls of soup, one with a lot of vegetables and noodles, and the other with just a few ingredients. So, the soup that has more ingredients is hypertonic, while the other with fewer ingredients is the other solution. In a cell's world, the soup inside is different from the one outside. The cell membrane acts like a fancy strainer, letting some things in and out but keeping others stuck. Now, a hypertonic solution is a super strong soup packed with more solutes, like salt and sugar, than the cells used to. So, when a cell takes a dip in this salty soup, it starts to shrink. And here is why it happens. You see, water loves balance, and it always flows from areas with less stuff to areas with more. So, the water inside the cell, wanting to even things out, starts rushing out to join the party in the strong soup. As water leaves, the cell starts to shrink. This process of deflation and shrinking is called plasmolysis, which can make plant cells look like raisins, and even mess up animal cells like red blood cells, making them look all spiky and crenated. Losing too much water can be deadly for a cell. It messes with everything from its shape to its ability to make energy. Think of your house collapsing under the weight of the flood. Now some of you ninja heads might be questioning, well then what about sea fish? You see, this is a surprising part of some cells. Not all cells are doomed to shrink like deflated balloons. Some have cool tricks to survive the hypertonic soup. Fish living in the ocean, for example, constantly lose water to the salty environment. But they are like ninjas constantly drinking seawater and getting rid of the extra salt through special gills. It's their way of maintaining balance and avoiding the shrink wrap treatment. Other than them, some bacteria can use the extra sugar in a hypertonic solution to their advantage. They suck it in, break it down, and use the energy to grow and thrive. So, there you have it. The next time you see a raisin or a spiky red blood cell, remember, that they might just be victims of a hypertonic soup party gone wrong. To conclude the whole explanation in one line is that when you put a cell in a hypertonic solution, it will pull water out of cells, causing them to shrink and potentially struggle, though some clever cells have ways to adapt or even thrive in it. Until next time, take care and adios.